My aim in this video is to give you an outline of um, alerts in SharePoint. So what we've got here is we can set alerts on a lot of uh, different SharePoint elements, lists and calendars and contacts, but what we're going to do here is we're going to work with a document library. So what I've got is a blank document library. Now what I'm going to do even before I start putting documents in here is I'm going to set up alerts on it so that I receive email notification when things change. Now to configure alerts on library you need to log in and access that library and then what we need to do is we need to go up here to library to review, reveal the ribbon menu and from there you'll see that I have an option here called alert me in the middle of the ribbon. So if I pull that down and select the option to set an alert on this library so the alert is going to be called documents we can go into uh, this and uh, modify this so we know exactly what it refers to. Uh, you'll see that I can choose to have a delivery method. At this stage the only option I have available is email but potentially I could do SMS's as well. Now the final settings down here are really the important ones you want to have a look at. So when you want to get alerted depends on one of the settings here. So basically I'm going to elect to have an alert set to, sent to me when there is any change in the document library. Now I can vary that and select just new items or when an existing item is modified or when something is deleted. So example if I want a document library in which when new documents are created I want to receive notification I would select the second option. But in this case I'm going to leave it set to all changes. Now the second alert down here lets me know when things change. So again I can select when anything changes when somebody changes a document or when somebody changes a document created by me and so on. So for example in this case I will leave it as anything changes so we'll get the alerts quickly but maybe I've uploaded a document I only want to see or receive notifications when somebody changes a document that I initially created. In that case I'd select the third option here. Now the final option down here under alerts is how often do I want to receive these notifications. Now by default we're going to receive these immediately we may not want that. We may want to receive simply a daily summary or a weekly summary. So if we go daily summary we can choose what day and what time we receive those and again same with the weekly summary. But in this case I'm going to leave the notification set to immediately so we can see exactly what's going on. Now once I push OK we'll notice in the uh, top right of the screen here uh, after it's had a minute to uh, second to process we've now set up the alerts for that library. Now if we go back into the alert me option up here and we have a look at the manage my alerts so now we can go in here and we can see that we already have a number of alerts set up. So this is the one I just created now I can go in here obviously and select this other one and choose to delete that if I want and remove that. So again what I've got is just the one alert now configured for the full document library to view it. I can again simply select that via the hyperlink and that will take me to the options that I have just run through there. But I'm happy with that so I simply go OK and what I'm going to do is go back to my document library. Now we've set up an alert now what we'll see is that if we go to our Outlook um, and have a look you'll see that we have a number of email alerts. So you can see the very first one here is that we've successfully created an alert for our document library. So this is just notification that our alert is up and running. So again we've got a number of other alerts here so what I'm going to do is just tidy all this up get rid of these other alerts but we're confident that our alerting system is working because again once we configured it on this document library we received an email notification as expected. So now that we have our alert set up what we're going to do is go in here and I'm going to create a new Word document. So we'll just create a quick and simple Word document using um, Word Online. We'll give that a moment to save and once that's saved we will go back to the document library and we will see that there is in fact a document in there that has been created for us in the library. Now because we've set up our notifications to uh, firstly receive notification of any change and to receive that immediately if we then go into our Outlook 
what we should see shortly is that notification basically sent through to us. Now it might not happen instantaneously, it might take a moment or two, so I'll just pause the video here while we wait for that email to come through. So you see that email has come through to us, if we select on it you'll see that it gives us information about what's changed, so obviously we've created a new document doc document.docx and you can see that we have links to modify my alerts, view the document, uh, view the document library and also drop into a mobile view. So again now we know that that has changed Again, to avoid confusion I'll delete that. Now if I go back to my document library uh, in this case what I'm going to do is go in and edit the document. Now again we've created the document we're now going into uh, do an edit on that document and this now means once again that we are changing something in our document library which will result in another notification because we have configured our alerts to do that for us. So remember that as good as alerts are it's very easy to become overloaded with too many alerts. Um, so again make sure that you configure the options appropriately to ensure that you get information that you require. So we'll just pop over to our Outlook and again give it a moment or two for that email notification to come through to us again. Okay so we see that the email has come through indicating that a change has been made to the document. So not only creating the document but also making a change to that document has um, prompted a notification. So again be very wary of overloading yourself with uh, too many notifications. Now the way that we control this is we go into library, we go into alert me, we go into set the alerts um, for this document library. So we're doing this on the whole document library and as you can see we've set, selected the option to have all changes, alert me when anything changes and send the notification immediately. Now to remove this from the whole document library we go into alert me again, select the manage alerts okay and then we can select the alert for the whole library and we can delete that so let's delete that and when we've done that we now have no more alerts set on this document library now what we'll do is we'll just pop in here and we will for example let's create an Excel spreadsheet to give us a second file in this document library now again nice and easy to create I'll just um, add some text here so that we have something in here uh, that will now update if I go back to my document library you'll see that we have now two documents in there. Now because I've turned off the alerts for this document library I don't get um, the alert, the email notification anymore. Now the ability to alert is not only tied to a whole document library you can do it on an individual document. So what I'm going to do here is simply select this uh, one document. So I will select the Excel spreadsheet I uh, just created I will go into files rather than library so I only want to work on this individual file and you'll see that I get the same alert me icon. Now remember in this case I've selected the file, gone into the files option rather than the library and now I'm going to set up a alert just on this one document. So in this case it indicates the document library and the file name to let me know. I'm going to leave the option set to alert me when anything changes and to send that notification immediately. So I'm going to save that and then again what that'll do is that should then send through an email to me indicating that I've set up an alert just on that document within the library. So again we'll just put that on browse and we'll pop over to our Outlook and you can see that the alert has already come through. So you can see that from the information in the email that we've now set an alert on just the single file called book. So again we'll just delete this to keep it simple and what we'll do to prove this is only working on one document we'll go back into the Word document we created which no longer has an alert set up on it. We're going to edit this document in Word again um, normally before this would have set up a uh, email alert but since we have um, turned that off we should now no longer get an email alert uh, so I'll make, give that a second to save and update back to the document library then what we'll do is we'll go back into the um, workbook the Excel workbook we just created which does have the alert configured on it so we're going to go back into 
the Excel workbook here and we're going to for example go in here and um, we're going to edit it so we'll put it in edit mode to make the change and we're going to type in here edit one and that will then save in the background if we go back to our site uh, what we'll find now is if we now go and wait on our Outlook what we should find is we'll now get a notification simply about the one document which we're monitoring it being the Excel spreadsheet turn up in our email to notify us of those changes so we'll give that a second to come through okay so we can see just that one email has come through if we click on it we'll notice again it is only in it's only an indication of something that has changed in the spreadsheet rather than the document so again what we can do in summary is we can go in and we can configure a email alert on uh, anything that happens in the document library we do that by going to the library tab and then selecting set alert on this library once we've done that we then choose from the options that are available to us as to how often the changes uh, we want to monitor and I'll be alerted about and when those notifications are sent now we can do that on the whole library but if instead we select files and we select a file to work with we can also set up a similar alert just on a single item so whether it's a, a calendar item a contact you can do this on an individual item by selecting the first tab rather than the second tab now the way that we manage all of these from anywhere we simply select the option under alert me to manage my alerts and you will get a list of all the alerts that you have configured you can select these and delete them you'll also notice if you want you can select to add an alert which you can do uh, manually and na by navigating through there so there's some quick and easy ways to set up alerts on uh, SharePoint items so you can do this with documents calendar contacts lists the good best practice is to ensure that you use notifications as required because it can very quickly overload you with lots and lots of email alerts which may not prove to be most productive so again have a consideration about how you want to use alerts with individual SharePoint um, items but as you can see they are a very convenient way to let you know quickly and easily about things that have changed and updated within SharePoint Online so again thank you very much for watching this video